Okay, can everybody hear me? <coughs> Excuse me. We're just going to watch, I think, today. Uh, TSCO is out. Don't like that. <coughs> Roku, I didn't look at. I'll look at. Uh, lecture day, 1030, about prop trading. <coughs> For those of you that want to stay. If you don't know what prop trading is, you definitely should stay. Uh, Roku, I will look at this here. But... Uh, Gyro, I'm guessing you don't have any ideas. I didn't see any, anything in there from you. No and Roku. You're the one that usually looks at longs. Just wonder if there's any longs today. No one's giving me any ideas. I don't like any myself, but. Oh, you know what I haven't looked at in a while? Netflix. Netflix I have not looked at in a hundred years. <coughs> RH, why? Why is RH up? Why is Microsoft up? Why? <sighs> I don't, just for those of you, uh, Brent, if you're in here that are like really hyped on risk to reward, if we do X today, I don't think there's going to be any risk to reward in it. So. If, we, if I see a setup, we're going to do it. Uh, look at Microsoft. Microsoft is insane. If we see a setup in this, we're going to do it. But I don't think it has any risk to reward. So, just why I was trying to find something better. But play is a play, as they say. A play is a play. Better if it holds 11. Let's see if that happens. Let's see if that happens. Okay, so watching X. No reason leaning the keyboard here with this. Not off of that, but I'm just saying a DRI is going to be really sloppy. All right, next time we're going to watch for 20, 11, 25. I'm, I'm just watching this here to see if we get a play. Yesterday I told you, I warned you. I didn't know if we get anything today. I saw this. It's worth watching. We're watching it. I'm not off of it yet, but DRI looks like it's going to be sloppy, which I pretty much familiar with that stock to know. So let's figure out. Okay, stop's going to be 11.30. Yeah, I'm not doing Microsoft. If you do it, you're on your own. I'm either doing this or nothing. I decided that, like, pretty much an hour ago. Unless something screamed amazing. Microsoft is strong, but it's not amazing. Let's do 90 by 30. And I don't know if this is going to hit. And again, if it doesn't, I'm not doing anything. 90 by 30, X short.
Target's 1050. Do not jump the gun on this. There'd be no reason to do that. You'll get filled. You'll get a good price. Plenty of volume. And I don't know if this hits. So. No, it doesn't look like that is going to hit. So just wait. Wait, 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 wait. Gotta wait. Gotta wait and see if we get a play today, which we may or may, we may not. And you all should be able to live with that either way. Wow, is that sloppy. No continuation plays today in this. All right. So again, actually those numbers are valid. 90 by 30 is still valid. 90 by 30 is still valid if it hits X short. I think it's gonna hit. I think it's better if it hits this morning for us. I'm not gonna do this late. 90 by 30 X. If it wants to cooperate early for us to do it. This is gonna drop today, but I'm not doing this like at 11.15. 90 by 30. Ninety by thirty. Nope, it's not hitting yet. Ninety by thirty. Gotta wait. Got to wait. Got to. Got to wait. Yeah, see, I'm not contending with this. We'll go over this later. Microsoft is strong. You can't short this. I just I don't like this aggressive as a gap today. That may be the reason for the lift here in the queues this morning. And then the China trade talks going on in Washington, which everyone's excited about, even though nothing's going to happen. <laughs> even though absolutely nothing's going to come of it. The market's excited that something could, that maybe. All right. 90 by 30. Okay, 90 by 30. Here, you can do it. Do it right now. It's going to hit. Get the stop in at 30. We'll get one little teeny weeny one. Here, here, I just said. I said it was going to hit. Here, be in it if you want it. Target's 1050. Now, let me just look at, what was another one? BYND. To keep an eye out on this. Look at this. Have to look at Disney. Have to look at Netflix. No, nothing there yet. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. X, 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 X. Nice call here again. Any money is good money in a time like this, in a period like this where the market is slow. You get the good ones when you get them. We had it yesterday. That I said, you have to be careful. You have to be careful, careful, careful. Here we go. Through the low. X. In fact, I'm going to watch 1060, to be honest with you. Here, here. Nice call. Nice, solid, solid call. I am on my game. There's just no doubt about that. Here we go. Uh, let me look at Netflix. Netflix. Netflix, my angel. When did I say those earnings were? The 16th? I guess I said the 16th. October 16th, yeah. So we've got another month. Oh, I forgot to tell you some gossip about that because that was when I was off. I didn't tell you the Netflix gossip. Um, all right, this is a snail. Be prepared for Snailsville. Kind of like the other day, sort of. Less snaily than the one from the other day, but similar snail-based situation. Um, Disney. No, not ready yet. And the market may make a new high today. Again, I'm not long this. Not long this at all. Uh, 302.23. I know the other day we were at 46. Mar very sloppy market. Very sloppy market with a lot of volatility. That's going to continue. It just is. Okay, here we go. X. Let's focus on particular things like we're doing. X.
fact, this, the snailier this gets, I'm really going to focus on 1060. It's just, just important to make money today. So we're only going life. Here we go. We're doing it. Under 80. X short. Everyone should be in it. It was very, I wouldn't say easy, but did, did set up the way that I wanted it to. Here we go, X, 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 X. Let's just get this down. And again, this could have a decent target today, but I'm not holding it because I don't know if it happens in the morning. I have a lot on my plate today. And um, that's the story, Morning Glory. Here we go, 1075 is the next area. Let's check out Microsoft for Trend Trader. Just rallied. Again, that accounts for this lift in the market. Okay, if you wanted to shave a little bit off the X there, you could have, depending on your sizing. If you want to hold it down, held it down a baby amount more. Here we go. We're gonna hit 1075, and then we'll see how it acts. Nice call. Oh, let me see what's out tonight. I don't know if there's anything out tonight. I looked at that yesterday. Is there anything out tonight? Shoot, I forget. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. No, not really. Nothing really out at all today or tomorrow. We're going to be looking for very specific things tomorrow. But there's a lot of data out tomorrow. No, that's today. Crap, no, there's no data out tomorrow. One thing today at 10.30 and two at 10. Wow, I don't know what we're going to get tomorrow either, but who knows? We could get we could get something like this. I mean, this this was not planned. I don't see any tweets that we need to be concerned about. Home Depot. Larry Kudlow was on FBN. Okay, anybody have any questions? We're here down at that area at the Lowe's at X. Very easy peasy trade in here. Again, if you wanna hold it, could potentially have a bigger target. This is on its own without the market. And uh, we'll just see where this heads, 940. Let's try to hold it for another five minutes, maybe 10. Here we go, X. Da, da, da. Gosh, I can't wait till our new season starts. But until then, we're going to be very careful like we were today. No, today's the 19th. Okay, here is a first number, a real number, if you want to just get out of this and call it a day, just FYI. If you want to stay with it, stay with it. We're watching again, 1060 is the next area, but... I mean, no, this could back up here just because it is a little snaily. 
and I'm checking around for other things, but all in all, I just wouldn't have high expectations of this today. We're lucky we got it at like literally the perfect price. Here we go. Here we go. X, 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 X. 1070 is the next number. Okay, you could get out of this right in here. Again, it's an area, it's a number, 1071. And here's a little pushback. So I'm gonna try to hold this for one more drop down, see if it can break 70. And then I'm probably calling it a day in that. Um, any questions from anyone about anything at all? Anything from this week? New people, old people, anyone? Oh, I know what I wanted to say. I wanted to say a follow-up on the conversation from yesterday about trading with confidence, and that was, that was a good discussion. And, and when you encounter, you know, things that happen and having confidence and how that helps you. Uh, I thought of something else last night I wanted to say on that same topic. For those of you that were here, if you weren't, you, you missed the lecture. But um, you, if you understand that it's a process, that you might take 10 steps forward and five steps back and three steps forward and one step back, you're also going to be a lot better served as well. So, And that's part of building the confidence when you're within yourself too because everyone wants to take 25 steps forward, but the chances of you taking 25 steps forward and then never taking any steps back if you're new to trading and if you're new to gaps which pretty much everyone that comes to me is new to trading gaps the way that I do um, if you if you understand that that you're gonna you're gonna be a lot better off because otherwise you'll criticize yourself and criticize yourself and criticize yourself and then you won't ever really solve the issues whatever issues you're having so understand that you may have to take 10 steps forward and five steps back and then but as long as you're moving forward and making progress that's all that matters here we go here's X kind of like this tree. Came down, dropped, took one step back. Now it's going again. This looks good. 1071. Here we go. Be great if everything went in a straight line forever and you could just go straight to a million dollars, but that's, you know, not realistic. And as long as you understand that that's not realistic, you'll do fine. I think people's expectations are they start to do really well and make money and think it's just they're never going to have a problem again. No, there's many things to learn. There's many things to grasp. It's a process. But as long as you're moving forward, your confidence should be increasing. And obviously, learning all the way. So we're watching for 1071 in X. It's not that far away. And let's see what happens here with the market think anything but obviously with Microsoft rallying who knows let's see where this really went 140 168 it ran up a buck uh, FDX is trying to drop again that's true if you're still in the puts fine if you get out of them yesterday that was fine too actually that brings up another point point. Um, and I said this to Zen trader yesterday I think it's important, hold on, let me turn off my dishwasher's beeping. That's gonna keep beeping until I turn it off. Um, I've been calling so many trades in that options letter that some of you some of you are doing better than others, and I think one of the things I said to Zen Trader yesterday is you need to look at, I'm calling so many trades, that you need to really look at it like on a certain amount on a certain day. For example, and so those of you that are on the letter know this, if you're not, I've been calling trades in rounds sometimes. Could be in several different uh, symbols, could be in one symbol, several different strikes. 
the idea is to book it, book it, book it. So like if you have several, if you have three trades on, whether that trade again is up 22% or 65% or 250%, that's not the point. If you have three trades on and you can close everything out and press doink and get out of everything and make $2,500, then you just made $2,500. Who cares if it's in one trade or the percentage or three trades, it doesn't matter. You just booked $2,500, that's a day. That's, that's a day. Then you get up tomorrow and you do the next trade. Some of you are not looking at trades correctly with profit taking and you know who you are. But the reality is that I'm calling so many trades. When you exit a trade with profit, you've got the money and then the money that you use to take the trade is back in your account to take tomorrow's trade. But either way, this whole thing about looking for certain percentage in moves, yeah, sometimes it's, it's, it's good, it's fine. Oh, I just got that note again. Can you guys hear me? I still have to delete stuff. I just got that message again about storage. Can you hear me? Oh my gosh, I can't deal with it. I keep deleting stuff and it's gonna take me like two hours to delete the rest. Um, now, hopefully this lasts. Anyways, uh, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, I know. While it's great to hold things sometimes, while that's true, while it's great to do it, at the end of the day, when you book money, you've got it. And I'm calling a lot of trades. And it's really, really, really important to book money with profits. There are times when it makes sense to hold something uh, for a bigger move, it's if it's a certain quality gap, but that absolutely is not every single thing out there. And in this type of environment, in this market, it's extremely important to take profits. So if you held the FDX puts through today, that's great, that's fine. If the market backs up, you know, it's on you. But if you did the ones from yesterday, you could have said, okay, boom, boom, two trades done, three trades done, How, you know, whatever you did with yesterday. I think it's a, it's a critical part of looking at this, especially with the number of trades I'm calling. But even with the day trades, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but could this have another drop off? Yes. Can I tell you the exact second it's gonna happen? No, no, I cannot. I cannot tell you that. Ulta is definitely, definitely, definitely gonna go. I just, I don't know the exact moment that that happens either. Here we go, X through the low. Elaine said it's good for her to hear, yes. And sometimes you'll know that if you're on the letter, like if I'm calling this one, this one, this one, and then a couple days go by, and then I call this one, this one, this one, like, and again, I'm not saying every time, but usually I'm like, take, I'm getting out of them. Like I'm like calling it, calling it, calling it, out, out, out. Then I'll call another one, take it, take it, take it, out, out, out. Like, I've been doing that. I've been doing that a lot. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. It didn't like really dawn on me, and it's not like I have to announce it, but it's like, we did that with BYND. We did that with Target. We like, like that's, it's like almost become obvious. Like, it's, if I call a trade on a Monday, and I call five trades in the same symbol on between Monday and Tuesday, it doesn't mean I'm holding them all. Like, and then if Thursday, I call two more, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, if we did that with Alta, like again, theoretically, you could be, some people could still be in the ones from the 20th, but I don't, I honestly don't think that may, would have made any sense whatsoever at all. But theoretically you could have, but you would have been like very stressed out some of the days in the last week. So, I mean, again, and I called then a bunch of others. So it's kind of like, like I'm calling them in waves, boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. And that's because you take it, you book it, take it, book it, take it, book it, take another one, book it, take another one, book it. As I see that it's moving, if it's moving down, if it's moving up, here we go, X. I'm seeing it's going to go to another number. And on the day that we did it, whatever that day was, I forget the 30th of August, like I saw, I called a bunch that I saw it was going to, but then it was like, okay, I see it's going to go to this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So like, as you can't, some, I mean, you see what it's doing. Here we are, X, let's pay attention here now because I don't, I don't know how long I wanna hold this. But anyways, if I'm calling something, then it's like I'm seeing as it goes, oh, this is really good, it's gonna hit this one, it's gonna hit this one. And sometimes you don't know that till it starts to get going. I don't know if that makes any sense. 
Good instructions, Elaine says. That's what you've not been doing consistently. You've not been getting that with profit. I, why? Somebody give me a reason why. Why aren't you getting out with profit? Here, here we go, X, here we go. We're gonna get it down to 10, 6, 10, 60 at least. And again, I think this goes farther today, but. Well, I don't know what you mean by fast, Carl. If you think taking something between 9.30 and 10 and getting out at four is fast, you think that's fast? I don't think that's fast. I think fast is what we did yesterday in FDX, and you could call this fast if you want here. I don't think taking a train in the first half hour of the day and exiting at any time before four of that day, I don't think that's fast. To me, that's not fast, but again, I have a, I mean, I'm, I think fast is we take a trade and we're out in two minutes. That's fast to me. And again, I, I know I have a different perspective. But taking a trade on one day and getting out in one day, that to me isn't fast. Even for an option trade. I literally have my hand in the button for this. I'm not giving this any more wiggle room here. Come on, it's trying to get there. Oh, I just thought of a good analogy. I just thought of a good analogy. Zen Trader, are you there? Here, I'm out of this. I'm out of this. I'm not dealing with this. It flirted with 63. If you want to hold it to 1050, you're fine. I'm not sitting through it bouncing this up to 75. Good day. Good solid day. We got something. It worked. Perfect. Done. Um, you know when you're a, a trend trader is a Microsoft. Good for you. I didn't want to do it. Um, I'd be very, very careful. I, I would be out. I mean, first of all, if you did it, I would have been out. I would have been out like 20 minutes ago. But I wouldn't still be in this. Um, anyways, getting back to what I was saying... I had no interest in going long today. But as you know, I prefer to short. Nice little trade here in X. Um, it's like saying about the percentages and stuff. Like It's like saying, it's like if you were on a diet, okay? If you were on a diet and you were on a diet for a week and you're on this diet, it's a strict diet, it's hard. Like you can't eat anything, anything at all. No carbs, no nothing. Um, and you can't eat anything you like, basically. <laughs> and you're on a diet and you, and you wanna lose weight. And say you wanna lose 20 pounds. Well, 20 pounds is a lot. You don't expect it to lose it in a week. You have no expectation of that. But you know it's really hard and you've been on it for a week. And you get on the scale and you've lost three pounds. Three pounds in one week you've lost. You're like, oh my God, I have 17 more pounds to go. Screw it. This is going to take forever. Or say you only lost two pounds and you're like, oh my God, I have too much longer to go. I can never do this. It's way too hard. It's like, it's like saying that's not enough. You lost, you made progress. You lost two pounds. You lost three pounds. It's, it's like you made progress. It's like when you take a trade, if you want to make a thousand dollars and you only made $350, it's still $350. It's $350. It's three pounds that you lost, okay? Yes, you wanted the thousand. Yes, you wanted to lose 20 pounds in a week. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can only do what you can do of the realistic of what's possible. And, and, and again, I said this yesterday too. I think that some of the trades that I've called this year have been such big winners. But when they've happened, they weren't pre-planned. They were trades that just occurred. So you, just by normal state of, just by being here in the room and being on the options letter, you will get big moves. Trying to make some things be bigger moves than they are is impossible. 
you they will just happen they will happen spontaneously just like one day you will get up and you will lose three pounds in one day because maybe you had worked out a lot or maybe you caught up from the last week or you lost water weight i don't know but you will eventually get to the goal it's like but you can't force it i don't know if that makes any sense let's look at these other things here rh didn't go higher Microsoft is going. Trend Trader did it. It's going to it's going to take almost a miracle to make me go long in here. Like it's going to have to take some fabulous gap to do it. And this just wasn't it. Although it is rallying. And I do believe now seeing this here that this has a big part of what's going on here in the market. Cuz Apple really isn't lifting today. So Microsoft is lifting the Q, Q lifting the QQQs. But look at everything else. It's the only thing I see. All right, any questions from anyone about anything at all? So good exit here on X. In fact, this is a perfect exit. We just had a perfect exit. So that was a morning exit on this. And again, it doesn't mean that it doesn't drop off again. It very well could. This trade set up at 9.34. <laughs> that wasn't fast enough for you? You people are funny. All right, let's take a look at Alta. So again, this looks like it's gonna drop around. Carl, did you do X today? Did you do X? Um, good, all right. And uh, Dee Dee as well, and Carl, for those of you, you know, for the, for the options trades, if I'm in here and you don't want to do this as an equity trade, you can do the option on whatever strike you want. If I'm calling it and you want to do it and you don't want to do the day trade or you can't because of your equity or whatever it is or your margin, you could have done a put just on your own. If I'm saying short it and we're at 153, pull it up and do the puts for 152.50. You don't need me to tell you that if you prefer or that's the only way you can do the trade because of the cost. Dee Dee, did you hear me? Because all of you were here live yesterday. And if for whatever reason the cost of the stock was such be that, and Kathy, you too, I know you didn't do anything in it. But if I'm calling it to short it at 153, well, pull it up. What's the first strike under 153 as a put if you can't do the, the equity trade because of the price of the stock? First one was 152.50. Boom, buy it, do it. You could have done it. Now, I'm not calling the options in the room. I'm calling the day trades. I'm calling the options in the options letter. But you can do that yourself if you know that you can't do X, Y, Z. If it's Netflix or whatever, if it's something else. Um, this is gonna drop off again too, but I don't know when anymore. Uh, the other one was, I haven't looked at this in a while. Anyways, any questions from anyone about anything? That's my two cents on that. And it's important to take profits. Again, I've been calling things in waves for the purpose of taking profits, but then still trying to get a bigger move. And think of it this way. It's unfortunate Gala had already signed out because he really needs to listen to this, although he wouldn't listen to me anyways. He would say that he would listen to me, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't listen to me anyways. If I call something, Howard, are you listening? If I call, I always buy. If we, on the, on the letter, on the options newsletter, we're buying calls and buying puts, that's it. And in the trading room here, we're doing the equity trades. But I'm telling people in here, if you have a small account, they can do it as an option instead, if you know how. You'd have to know how yourself, which Kathy, I think, knows how. Um, crap, now why? I just forgot what I was gonna say again. Hmm. <sighs> talking about freaking money ah shoot i just forgot my train of thought i don't remember what i was going to say darn it good too. 
probably about taking four bits. Oh, I know. I know. I'm making this up. Say you have a risk on, I'm just making this up here. Say you have a risk on of a thousand bucks. This isn't an option. Say you can book, and I'm just making this up, 700. Then I call another one, another further strike out. Your risk is what? Your risk has to be the same. So your risk again is gonna be a thousand. If that second trade goes bust and doesn't even work, guess what you lost? You only lost 300. If you didn't get out of the first trade, the thousand risk is still on. If you were up 700 and overnight something happens with this market and the volatility, you're then you would lose all the profit of the 700 and you would lose the thousand. If you got out of it and retook it, then you're safe no matter what, whether you take it the same day or the next day. Does this make sense? What if you risk a thousand? And what if you book two thousand? Then I call another one. Then you risk a thousand. What if the whole thing goes bust? You're still up a thousand. Does everybody hear that? Galahad should hear that. He wouldn't listen to me anyways, but that's okay. He's on his own planet. Um, if I call the exit for the equity, if you want to get out of it for the option, you can. But I usually get out of those equity trades pretty fast. So you could hold the, the options a little bit longer. So does everyone understand what I just said? You could use that same philosophy for day trades. But if we take a trade and we're up for the day, I like to stop. I mean, that's just me. But this, this could keep going. But anyways, do you get the point of what I'm saying? So it really makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Zen Trader, did you hear that too? So like, again, I called two puts in this FDX yesterday. You could have done one, could have got out, could have done the other one, could have held it. Could have done one, could have done two, could have got out of them all. Could do another one if I call another one, which I didn't today, but maybe I will. Maybe at some point I will, not today. But do you know what I'm saying? It's like you, you, you would, you're covering yourself. It's a protection, and you're also booking profits continuously. Once you get into the habit, I think this is, you know, I have a day trader mentality. I have a day trader mentality. So, like, I think that's really has served me well, even for the overnights. Now, sometimes I like to hold something because I because I, I know the gap is really, really good. But, um, or it hasn't had the move yet. The second move or the third move or whatever move you want to call. Sometimes they happen in waves. But anyways, this idea of booking money continuously, there's just absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's just absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever at all. And if you're looking at five trades on the board and they're all green, even though they have a week and a half left, and even though you think the percentage of amount that they're up in fact, I, I said to Zen Trader, just take that stupid column off your thing. Just delete that column. That column screws up your head. I bet Galahad has that column on his option thing. Just delete that thing. You don't need it. It means nothing. If you look at your P&L and you have, boom, $5,000, and you could go doink before 4 o'clock and get out with that profit, that's five grand. I don't care if it's in 10 trades or five trades or two trades. It, you know, I mean, seriously. Again, this is if you're taking multiple trades. Some of you may only do one trade at a time. That's okay too, that's fine. But I'm, give, I'm trying to say this to people that are in multiple things. Because in this market, I'm telling you the volatility isn't over. It's not over. It absolutely is not over. Um, let me look at one other thing here. I'm drinking coffee out of my pumpkin mug today. I think it gave us good luck. A cute little pumpkin mug from Pottery Barn. I'm running out of space. I have to get a bigger apartment for the simple fact that I can't buy any more clothes. I can't buy any more shoes. I can't buy any more dishes. I can't buy, I cannot buy one single solitary thing. <laughs> I cannot. I can't. And my parents refuse to store any more things in their home. They will not do it. Like, 
I've been cut off. <laughs> I've been completely cut off. Uh, let me just say. Yeah, nothing tonight, nothing tomorrow. What else? Any other questions? No, it's just, it's just a, just, this is just New York for a little closet space. All right, good job, everyone. I'm gonna take a little break. If you wanna hang around, um, well, first of all, does anyone have any questions? If you don't have any questions, then I'm gonna let everybody relax here. Richard is gonna come on and do a lecture about prop trading at 10.30. If you have questions, I'll go over anything now. Um, again, it's better if this market does not make a new high for it to hold, but it might. Microsoft's lifting the whole QQQ, so if that happens, then it could lift, make a new high, but it won't hold. So as I said every day this week, it's better if it, that doesn't happen. But it might, because Microsoft's rallying. And so, it, and it got to 142. So based on that, this market could lift. And the trade talks are happening right now in Washington. And I have no conviction that the market's going to go over the high and hold. So there's no calls that will be coming forthcoming from, from me, at least. So keep an eye out on Ulta. It could come out of nowhere. It could completely out of nowhere. This looks amazing. And FDX, again, if you exited the trades yesterday, that was perfectly, perfectly fine. If you're still in them, then... You need to watch it every single solitary day, pretty much. Today is a rest day for this. Um, but if another move comes in, like I said, I'll just call another trade. So do you know what I mean? That's the point that I was trying to say. I'm going to be an episode of Hoarders. <laughs> I watched that show one time. It was so gross, those people they had on that show. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't, I couldn't, like, I literally couldn't watch it. It was really grosses you out. <laughs> totally. All right, so I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. I'm just going to be honest with you. So we'll see. We'll see what we get. We had a perfect exit here in this X. And Richard's going to talk at 1030. Um, G5, how are you doing? You're trading with a small account, that's okay. Skip's doing the class this weekend. I think I'm pretty much all cut up. For, for the short term anyways. Uh, prop accounts are accounts where, if you have a retail account, it would be like an Ameritrade, E-Train, Schwab kind of thing, and you need 25,000 to actively day trade it on margin. In and out, in and out, we do these equity trades. You don't need 25000 for an options account, but you have restrictions how many options trades you can take in a week's time and in options, but you can open up an options account with $2,000, but you can't be in and out, in and out, in and out 50 times a day, but you can take trains. Um, but the prop place that's going to talk, you can trade without that. You can have a starter account with 2500 5000 they give you 10 to 1 margin and you can be in and out with smaller amounts of money. So that's the benefit of doing that. You're sticking to day trading. Yeah. I think G5, you know, you understood the options too. You didn't take the profits. In fact, let's talk about, let's look at Target. I haven't looked at this in ages. Oh, let me look this up. This is selling off a little bit here. Let's check it out. You know what? Let me look and see what's out next week, too. Uh, um, uh, this is this is just nothing. Some kind of repurchase program. Is it that's that's really nothing.
Its target's still super duper strong. Next week's the 23rd. JBL, KMX. Oh, Nike's next week. CTAS is next week. KBH, the home builders are next week. CAG. There's a decent amount of stuff next week. Again, towards the end of the week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Those are really the busy days. Muse next week. CAG. FDS. There's plenty of stuff, but again, towards the end of the week. So, Nike's out Tuesday night. Let's take a look at that chart. I think it's probably going to be pretty much like that until uh, until earnings season. I think it's pretty much going to be the bulk of the busy days are Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is next Tuesday night. I have no idea what this does here. Tuesday's a long way away. Well, that's a strong chart. Another another really strong chart. Another really strong chart here, Nike. And it's a retailer too. Everyone, did everyone get out of X or is anyone still in this X? We literally had a low of the day exit. See, that was, I mean, you know, sometimes that, it happens that way. We, we couldn't have gotten a better exit than that though today. All right, listen. I'm here, but I'm not going to get back on the mic. Richard's going to talk in about 15 minutes. Have a cup of coffee. Take a bathroom break. Um, I will see everybody back tomorrow morning. Richard's going to talk about prop trading. In fact, let me write it in the room here. Gyro, are, do you have anything to add? Gyro's being super duper quiet. If you have any questions, email me. Kathy, I'll read your email. And um, there's quiet time till he gets on, then I'll see you back tomorrow morning. He's taking the mic off, but leaving the room open. <laughs>